Can you see the full screen now? Yeah. Okay. But it's not full screen. Okay. So uh, the superposition that I talked about that before, I, I want to go in more detail when I said you have to remove the voltage source, you have to remove the current source. What does it mean in the circuit? So it's the, uh, the main circuit we have. If you want to remove the voltage source, it means that you want to turn off the, sorry, in position. You want to keep the voltage source, but you want to remove the current source. It means that you have to turn it off. So how we can turn off a current source in the circuit? You mean that what should we do in the analysis? We have to make it short circuit or open circuit. No answer. Open circuit. Okay, yeah, that's right. You know, uh, for example, consider uh, the voltage source as a 10 ampere. When we want to turn it off, we start to decrease the, the value of the currents. We reduce to nine, eight, seven, and Finally, we reduce to zero. And the line and the branch that uh, the, the value of the current is zero means open circuit. So when we say we have to turn off current source, it means that we have to uh, open circuit. We have to use the pen and we have to remove this, this line Totally, yeah? So the final system will be this one. Are you agree? This circuit will be result of removing the current source. Is it correct or not? What happened to R1? Yeah, good question. What happened for R1? R1 and R2. It became R1 and R2. What did you say? R1 has it become R1 plus R2. No. And... No. R2 is R2 is the same, exactly. If you said correct, I had to write R1 plus R2. But R2 exactly is R2. R3 is exactly R3. But what happened for R1? Do you think we have to have this here? It seems that this circuit should be correct. Is it right? You know? The question is that we want to calculate this, equation, this voltage, the voltage across R3. When you have, uh, when you have a resistor in parallel the voltage source, and you want to calculate voltage another side of the system, the current here is not important. We have current here but it will not affect on the voltage we have here because this voltage is constant. Suppose that this voltage is 10. If you have this resistance, this voltage is 10. The, the voltage across the terminal. Again, if you don't have this R, the voltage on this terminal again is 10. 
So there is no difference. You have R1 or, R, or with or without R1. That's why we eliminate R1 from the circuit. It's a uh, simpler circuit. So that's why we remove it. For this circuit, we want to write, we have a loop and we want to write a KVL. What will be the KVL? Can you say? We started from here, V2 minus, minus V, not V2. Can you say the next expression? What will the voltage drop here? We want to calculate the voltage across R3. What will be the result? What's your solution? What's the starting point? Voltage have to, two. Mm -hmm. Take the V times uh, R3 divided by the total resistance. Can you say again? The voltage divide, the voltage divide the rule. Exactly. It's not necessary to write again the whole KVL and do again uh, the many calculation. It is voltage divider. So when we want to calculate the voltage in the series combination, we write it V2 plus is V, the main source of voltage, its own current, its own resistor, R3 over the whole resistor. It was the application of the voltage divider. Is it right? So you can see here, V, R3 divided by summation of R2 and R3 over. Again, the previous time we remove current source, but now we want to remove the voltage source. How we can remove this one? Is it open circuit or short circuit? You have to In short circuit it. Yes, exactly. Suppose that the same. When it is 10, we want to turn it off. We want to decrease the voltage from 10, 9, 8. Finally, you will have a line with voltage zero. What will be a line with voltage zero? It's the short circuit. That's why when we say voltage source will be turned off, it means that you have to make it short circuit. Can you see? Okay, and here is the result. You have the voltage, uh, you have the sorry, current source, you have R2 and R3, and we want to calculate V2. <clears throat> How we can calculate V2 here? Or previous to this question, what happened for R1 here? Where is R1? We had the R1, but we don't have R1 here. What happened? Uh, when you short circuit the, the voltage, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. When, yeah, when the elements of the the terminal of one element will be short circuit. You, you, know, you will remove it. So suppose that you have a R1 and the short circuit. And 
suppose that if you have a voltage source here, for example, electron or the charge want to decide which direction is better. According to electricity rules, the electron select the pass state with the lowest resistor. Here resistor is zero, here is R1. So all the current come from this way. So we will have no current here. So we can remove it. That's why we removed R1. So uh, now what's V2 here in this equation, in this diagram? Can you give me expression for that? I. This is just I times R3. What? What did you say? I times R3. No. I times R3. Did what did you say? Yeah. No, because the I is the current here, but not here. Here is I1, here is I2. And I3 is I, but I1 is different from I3. So it's not correct. Any suggestion? You have to take I times R2 and divide it by R2 plus R3. Yes, exactly. Because we have the uh, current divided. You know, it's not very similar to previous one, but consider here, I can show you here. You have current source. You have R2. And R3. Are you agree that these two uh, circuits are the similar? So in this condition, we talked about that before, is the current divider. If you want to calculate the current here will be I, R2, not this resistor, another one. R2 plus R3. And the voltage here will be R3 times I3. It is I3. Sorry, V. V3. It is I3. No, I am made a mistake. It was I. It's current divider. It is I3. And the voltage will be R times I3. Are you agree? You can see it here. The same, because they are R2 and R3 are parallel. We use this parameter for the parallel. And finally, we have to remove that. So uh, it's, we are talking about the superposition theory. At the first step, we remove the current source. The second step, we remove voltage source. And according to the superposition theory, the final voltage will be combination of two voltage.
the voltage calculated in first step plus the voltage calculated in second step. In this way, we can make simpler a big uh, circuit when you have different uh, source, you have voltage and current source together. It's better to use superposition. It's very useful in the circuit analysis. And the final result will be this one. It comes from here. And this part has come from here. The next one, Stevenin and Norton equivalent. You know, again, when you have a big system, big circuit, we can decrease. So suppose that you, let me to explain better. Um, we can say at any terminal here, the properties of the linear network may be expressed in terms of Tevenin or Norton. Is the same. It's the Tevenin equivalent network. Suppose that you have a very big system here, and there is a small resistor here. And you want to know what's the current in this resistor. And you have many elements. It's not necessary to evaluate the circuit in detail for each branch and the voltage and current, uh, write the KVL and KCL, a lot to solve it. Since this part is important, we can make it equivalent. This section will be remain because it is important for us. But for the other part, we will write equivalent. And we have different type of equivalent. We have Tevenin, it's the combination of the resistor and voltage source in series. And we have Norton, it is the uh, resistor and the current source in parallel. But uh, we can use uh, based of your personal uh, preference. But most of the time we use Tevenin. It's more common. And it's better to know that these are and these are the same. For example, if you calculate it is two, and it is 10. And in the exam, if I ask what's the equivalent or in the Norton, again, it's two. It's not necessary to recalculate. So the uh, equivalent resistant in Norton is similar to equivalent resistant in Tevenin. However, the voltage source and the current source are related with this expression. So if you know, R, here R is two. And if you know the voltage source, it's 10. So you can guess what it is. It's five, it's not necessary. They are equivalent. You can use one of them you prefer. Let me to go in detail in Tevenin. I want to show you in detail. What does it mean? Consider this circuit. It's a very famous circuit. It's stone bridge. It's very common in the circuit theory that uh, it has different uh, interesting properties. And uh, I want to show you how to use the Tevenin equivalent for analyzing this circuit. Suppose that we can divide the bridge in two parts. You know, the, 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 the main question is that, what's 
the voltage here across this element is the main question. You want to solve with the Thevenin. If you want to do that, this point and this point are important for us. And it is another point that is zero. From this point and this point, we can take a look at the circuit and extract the equivalent. And from this point and this point, it's the pair terminal, it's the another pair terminal. We take a look at the circuit and we calculate the equivalent. And then we can paste with this element. In this way, we can make the analysis simpler. So how? It's the, the bridge that I talk with you. Suppose that I want to see what's the equivalent of the system circuit from this terminal. From left-hand side, if you take a look from this way, you can see, you, you, you have to remove, when you want to analyze this system, firstly, you have to remove this element. And it's, it's here. If we take a look at the circuit from this terminal, we have equivalent voltage and equivalent resistor. And we can calculate them. Do you know what kind of trick we used here? Can you say the name? Daniel? Voltage divider rule? Exactly. It's voltage divided because we have two resistor that are in service. We can use the voltage divider and the equivalent. Equivalent is R parallel, R1 parallel R2. Can you explain why? You passed this course before. How we calculate uh, equivalent resistor in the Thevenin equivalent? I will answer. When you want, <clears throat> you know, here is open source, open circuit. You want to calculate the voltage across this uh, resistor. We have a voltage here and we want to calculate the voltage. We use the expression for the voltage divider. So we'll have diff. But if you want to calculate the equivalent resistor, you have to remove this one because just we want to calculate the impedance, calculate the resistor, just resistor remain in the system. If you want just focus on the resistor, you have to remove the voltage source. And if you want to remove it, you have to make it short circuit. So if you make it short circuit, you can see these two resistors are in parallel. The second one, you can again do it from this point. I want to take a look to the circuit. Sorry. From this terminal, left hand side, right hand side. Oof. Okay, for the right hand side, you will have again the same things. You have the voltage here, and you want to know what's the uh, open circuit voltage and what's the equivalent. Here again, voltage in this uh, across this resistor will be the voltage source. 
its own resistor, it's a combination of the two resistor. <clears throat> you know, uh, it's here in this way. <coughs> Sorry. It's R3. R4. Yes. I mean this one. So in order to know what's the voltage here, so you can use voltage divider, R4 over R3 plus R4. And if you want to calculate equivalent for the right side, again, you have to short circuit it and these two resistor are <clears throat> in parallel. So now we calculate. Now we calculate uh, <clears throat> left hand side and right hand side equivalent. You can see for the left hand side, we have this voltage and this equivalent resistor. For the right hand side, we have this voltage and this. And the main point here is we have to combine them. We have to paste them to final. Our, what was our first question? We want to evaluate the voltage here. So we'll have here. <clears throat> and this part is for this one. And this part is for this one. So if we paste together, we can calculate the voltage V5. We can calculate V5 with this formulation. It's the, uh, you know, we have to use the KVL here. Start from here, minus V7N, one, two, three, four, Seven and one plus it's minus plus V five plus R seven and two here we have I as well. The current in the hole is I. R7 and 2, again I plus <clears throat> V7 and 2 or V7 and R. <clears throat> it's KVL. It will be zero. If, to, if you write the KVL for this loop, you can write it. And if you put these values, in this formulation, you will have the final. Anyway, if you have this bridge and I ask you to calculate the voltage across the R5, you can use the Thevenin equivalence, one for left side and one for right side and paste them to calculate final expression. You, you, you will have in, in the example, I will show you how to calculate it. No, you will answer. Okay. Uh, inductive and capacitive circuit element. So I think it's better to go to the break to convert the file and again, I will be here in 15 minutes. Okay. Do you have any question now regarding to previous slides? If not, let's go. 
No, I don't have any questions. Yeah. But, uh, like, usually we get like, um, let's say, uh, tasks or problems to do like during, like after the classes or something like that, uh, from maybe like the books. Is that something you will do or how is that with you? You know, um, I will try to uh, solve some example okay, yeah. uh, in the book, in different reference we have. Uh, and we have some example from the Gun Christine from uh, last semester. Yeah. Uh, I will try to combine to give you more example to get familiar. Anyway, I explain something, but uh, if you don't solve it, you cannot understand. Yeah. So you need to solve it. I will provide you from the book and the Gun Christine. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Not yet, at least. Okay. So we can go now.